I've been digging tunnels for years. What have you accomplished? Man, I don't know. I'll tell you what, though. I haven't dug a tunnel. I don't know if that changes your opinion of me, but... Um, hi, uh, I'm Alfred. Uh, welcome back to Pokemon Yumanium. Radiation in, uh... Yeah, I'm just grinding out this gem, by the way. I was gonna talk about radiation in fiction. Radiation in fiction is always one of my most interesting things. Um, almost no one handles <laughs> it, uh, at, like, well. Um... Stalker does it okay. Um... Um, what is the, what is the, it's, it's written by that, like, Russian fellow. Um, I think he's Russian, Eastern European at least. Uh, it also had a video game based off of it. Metro, Metro actually handles it very well. Um, it also uses the, the trope of, like, they're more evolved than us in one of the only ways that's actually done well. Um... Here's hoping, right? Metal claw, huh? That's not great. Um, but yeah, almost no one actually does radiation and fiction correctly. Um, I like the way it actually shows up in Aragon, where um, there's no hard science. Well, there is hard science. It's actually a very hard science book, but it's primarily a like Tolkien-esque fiction novel. Um, but at some point, like, there's the implication that somebody split atoms and caused a nuclear explosion and the way that they talk about it without having modern like science is super cool like uh, um, a dragon's like there's an invisible poison in the air it causes people to get sick and their hair to fall out and it's like well I know what you're talking about right, back to luck. um jeez might have to go heal up yeah, hell me. Worker Martin. See the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're dead. Um, I was actually uh, talking with someone about how Fallout handles it, because Fallout does not really handle it well. And then they were like, yeah, but Fallout never was supposed to handle it well. And I was like, what are you... what? And so they broke it down to me. Um... The idea is that Fallout's take on nuclear power and atomic energy and the like is meant to be how is meant to be how the 50s actually saw it. So like in Fallout there should be no Fallout because even in the first game it's so far after the after the war that the 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 decay should have actually made the whole land basically safe again. There would be a few areas, but yeah. And then by the time of Fallout 4, or even Fallout 3, absolutely not. There should be nothing there. And again, you know, they, they, they're like, oh, but Washington was nuked super hard, so it's, yeah, it's really, yeah, it's bad. Oh, God, bulldoze. Oh, jeez. It's a really good move. At least I don't have to worry about the speed drop, since he already outspeeds me. Wow. Thank you, Bolty. Um, yeah, like, a, a lot of, like, radiation, radioactive stuff just, like, expires in, like, sometimes 15, 10 years. Aqua Jet, huh? Well, I definitely don't want to use Defense Girl. Um, but yeah, the idea of Fallout is that it's not that radiation works the way that we use it. Radiation works the way that they think that it works. So, like, scientists are like, oh, it'll, it'll, you know, vanish after I'm already dead. Whoa. That's dope as hell. Good job, Bolty. Good job. Hacker Todd. You're certainly strong. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back and heal. Yeah, that's also why radiation causes things that 
don't actually happen. Radiation does not make spiders and ants grow into super large animals, but in the 50s they thought it did, and that's why all those movies are about it. Um, and on, on, a, on a meta level, I like that. I like the idea of like, yeah, the, the series isn't completely serious. It doesn't completely take itself seriously. But in games where it's it does take itself a little more seriously, that kind of, you know, it becomes a shot in the foot. Looks like a place to put an item in. What? Do I have to break these? I think I just broke the uh, one I already broke. Okay, seriously, what the hell? Should I just break every rock in this gem? Actually, I could just go Google it, which I will do. I'll be right back. Let me turn on my mouse. Alright, I'll be right back. Hey, so yeah, as it happens, you do actually have to just smash all the everything until you find this stupid gem. However, while reading on the wiki, I learned something else, um, which is that you actually should go fight all the students, which I will do. Because you apparently get a nun. I think it was this building. Um, I'm recording later at night than I typically would. You heard about debates? Cool activities. You're debating whether or not to enact an age requirement for Pokemon trainers. Oh my lord. Alright. Now you, practice for battle class. Can you help me study? Here I come. Such an anime thing. Tuber Rick would like fortune eggs. Ah. That's trouble. Um. I don't really have anything. Oh, God. My team is trash, bro. Uh. I guess I'll just leave you. Oh god. Vanya. Oh god. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to switch this out just to get someone else in. If nothing else, I can just have this dumb, big, dumb, padded sumo gameplay. Or Chink did the scratch. Wasn't very effective. Haha, -ha, fool. Now I will rock smash you. Oh. Accidentally clicked another one out. Oh, good. It's super effective. I'm glad. I'm very glad. But Ugh. Super effective, but Helmy's so weak. I mean, I guess he's really made to be a defensive poke. Oh, brother. Alright. It's super effective. Super Rich is gonna send in Rap Torch. You bet your butt I'm gonna send in. <laughs> Fool. Go, Bolty. All right. Rip in pastas. Okay. Oko, one hit KO. Electux. That's this one, isn't it? I'll keep this in. Because if nothing else, I have a uh, significant level advantage on him. Plus the power of friendship and stuff. Ooh, a crit. Yeah, let's just tackle each other. I like that. Defense churl, huh? You fool. So, um, I rolled it in this recording session right from the last one. Um, so it is 8 p.m. and I've just woken up. Uh, in time to watch the sun go down here. Um, it's supposed to rain. I hope it does. Uh, I don't think I've slept through it. 
But uh, I haven't eaten breakfast yet, and I'm not sure if I should just have cereal like I'm a normal person and I'm having a normal breakfast, or if I should just go right for dinner and have breakfast for dinner. Oh, that was awesome. Damn straight, kid. Figure if I learn how to battle pokes, I can do Pokemon Red version easy. Wanna fight? Sure. It's so weird that the Pokemon games exist in this universe. I'm not sure about that. School kid Tracy would like to battle. Tracy's a good kid. Get him, Tonami. I should really have the chart up. Like, just the chart of all the Pokemon types and their effectiveness. Maybe I should just put that in the LP. Like, considering I'm, I'm learning how to uh, put multiple things on my screen, maybe I should just have it off to the side. That'd be useful. Grozard. Uh, no. Ulti does very well against Grozer. And of course, this just means that I uh, am going to now rely on Volti because I don't have any other strong pokes, but that's okay. It's super effective. Volti's a level 18 Pokemon. Though. Someone actually commented on how I say pokes instead of mons as the diminutive for Pokemon and how they, they're pretty sure I'm the only person who does that. Because Pokemon is pocket monsters, so these things are monsters that are in your pocket, so they should be called monsters, or mons for short. But my insistence on calling them pokes is... It apparently makes them very mad, which means that I have to keep doing it now. You idiot. You've only made me stronger, you know. You've given me power over you. You fool. You absolute fool. Battling's easier in the games. Your hang-up here is that this is reality, I guess. Hey, awesome, this should help with your studies. Now get your solid gold nugget. Well, hey, that is if you join with Team Rocket first. Gotcha, didn't I? No. Seriously, you want to battle me? You get a nugget if you win. Prepare yourself. Nugget time. Youngster James. Ha ha. Dunsparce. Apparently Dunsparce has a new evolution in this game as well. Which is good because he gets... Jack, and also shit in the, uh, actual games. And Jack left town. Pursuit. I don't think that'll do anything to me. Yeah, I think Pursuit only activates if you, uh, are swapping Pokemon. But, like, the, the big damage only does. Roll out. That could be trouble. Ah, you fool. You played right into my hands. Equijet. Sorry, I was getting something off my screen. Balti earned some cash. Kinetomonk. I don't think I've seen this. I'll stay in. Wow. It looks like crap. That's what Shin Shinyanimonk actually evolved into. It's electric type too, huh? That means I won't use it because Bolty is already an electric type. God, what a what a piece of trash. I feel I, this this isn't the game's fault, but I, I feel as though I'm I'm just kind of trapped in the early game, and I have been for a while, just because I'm like, oh, here's all these regional birds, here's all these regional rats and stuff. Oh boy. You know, I definitely should have read what he was gonna send in. I hit the enter button too soon. I thought I was still in the last text box. That could be trouble. Baran. What the hell is that? It's a dragon. Baran is poisoned. I can definitely take another one of those. Heck, huh? Ooh, Pobo. Okay, poison. So, if Pobo gets knocked out uh, right quick. Oh, Pobo. I should have swapped you out. Because my, uh, my plan, excuse me, was just to uh, wait it out with Helmy. Uh. 
So I haven't been in my chair for a few days. Um, just because I haven't been recording, I've actually been playing games on console recently. Um, and so my wrists and back have been good because uh, my desk is trash. My, my desk is absolute trash. Um, because it was free, you know? You get what you pay for, and I didn't. Tackle. Um, and so I have a ulnar tunnel and carpal tunnel um, in both my hands. Yeah, hell me. A lot of defense and HP, and that's it. Metal claw. Yes. Um. Oh, mud slap. Bye. Mud slap is so useless. Don't let it go to the spoils. Should we get training for the gym if you haven't beaten it yet? And thanks. You got it. Yeah. Imagine if Pokemon trainers actually, for God's sake, got XP for knocking out your mods. Or excuse me, your pokes. Um, it would make this game much harder because the rich would get richer. Because you losing would mean that the game would then get harder. <laughs> Yes, I would. Um, yeah, very much an unstable equili uh, equilibrium, that. Side note, I love how God Hand is balanced, and I really wish that more games would do that. Where the better you are, the harder the game gets. Like, God Hand has a combo meter, just like uh, Devil May Cry, and it's synonymous with the difficulty slider. Hey, Trainer, sure you know this by now, but I'm Devern, gym leader. Pokemon found in caves. Ever since I was a kid, caves felt like home. That's why I dug out this abandoned mine and turned it into a gym. Pokemon are tough and through hard work and paddle. Can you stand up to our strength? Show me you're not afraid. Oh, hi. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I'm here. Oh. There we go. Rosard, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what must happen, Rosard. Ooh, that speed drop isn't good. Um, I think I can take another one, considering I just lost 22 in a pair. 32 now. Modrill. I'll stay in. I think that was a Jurassic Park sound effect. Or another, like, stock sound effect. I don't know what that is. It looks interesting. It reminds me of a, a Buta from Gurren Lagan. You know, this is what I get for trying to play, like, safe. I usually try to play, like, conservative. Super effective. If I remember correctly, Mudslap is only... Oh, cripes. Is only effective against, um... Wada types. Or, uh, um... Electric types. I almost never play with electric types. Um, electric types are usually weaker than other Pokemon. Because, oh geez, I've made a miscalculation. On account of never having seen Modrill before. Yeah, electric types are usually weaker than other pokes because they have an additional thing where they can actually. Oh god. I might white out here. Chubbo, I guess. It, yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. I rely on a... Son of a bitch. See, if I hadn't just... If I, if I hadn't been playing conservative, and like, oh, I'll save my ex... I'll save my, my Pokemon points for this. Attack fell, that's good. 
that specially. Metal Claw, too, huh? I think I can take another one of those if this doesn't kill. Oh, it's a crit. Cool. And it's a crit. Dear one. I'll stay here. Wow, is that the evolved form of Helmy? That's interesting. Haha, you fool. Oh dear. Oh well, that's good, I guess. Fieri Wind. Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to take a second one of those. I guess I'll do that, just to kill myself. Yep, I'm dead now. Okay. Yeah, this is like the opposite of a Nuzlocke, where I just go out of my way to kill as many Pokemon as I can. Considering that that's an evolved Pokemon, that might be his ace. Although he might have another one at the chamber. Oh, jeez. Oh! Um... Aw. Hmm. This could be trouble. Just a reminder, I'm not good at Pokemon. I just... know about it. Ooh, thank you, Bolty. Bolty's coming through. Tof Tofaron. Um, I guess I'll get in Pobol because she hasn't seen much battle. Go, Pobol. Tofuran. Oh, God. I just sent a pre-evolved Pokemon in against its evolved form. This isn't over yet. Hmm. That's that's trouble because actually that could be good because I it won't be able to poison me. Uh huh. You know, this is all because, this is literally all because I decided to just wait and, and to save my, uh, my, my gusto. To save my PP for Aqua Jet. Even though I had a bunch left and I wouldn't run out in this fight. Oh god. Sack off Snips. See if Snips can do anything. If Snips has quick attack, then at least, uh, she'll be able to... Oh yeah, there you go whittle down some of the defenses. Oh, right. Yeah, now I can actually get poisoned. Twick attack. I'm so sick of grinding in this game that I don't even want to grind for Pokemon that I'm actually going to use. But, like, that's a danger to me. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Equijet. Oh, God. Actually, isn't like... Yeah. I was going to mention earlier, um, the thing about electric Pokemon is that they often take a hit to their stats because electric moves will often paralyze people. And I believe electric Pokemon are immune to par paralysis, which means that Tofurang licking me is great. Oh, God. Come on, he's paralyzed. Oh, please. Oh, thank you. That was a well-earned victory. You're more than deserving of the bright gem badge. A fought kid can be impressed. Hand over that gem you found earlier. Click. Ta-da, here's your badge. Oh, that's fun. I was like, bright gem, that's the item I picked up. Hope you look at that badge. Remember all the hard work you turned on it. Except this team. Uh, TM31, it contained Brick Bracket. Brick Brick is pretty good, I think. Funny type move I used to help excavate. Powerful and shadow walls like reflect and light screen. Oh, interesting. 
Can I do that in a normal game? Make good use of it on your journey. All right. Um. Yeah, that was pretty good. A little longer of an episode. But you know what? That's okay. Um. Yeah, that's a good episode then. Um. I'll go ahead and uh, pause the recording here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, I've been Alfred. This has been Pokemon Uranium. Again, this is a free fan game. It is difficult to get a hold of because of Nintendo's rights restrictions and stuff. But there are a few download links that you can get. I found mine through the Pokemon Uranium subreddit. Uh, and there are a few others. Um, I like this game very much. If you are just an absolute nut for Pokemon, this is probably exactly what you're going to want. Other than that, I don't know if you'll actually enjoy it, but I am, so... Uh, yeah. Pokemon 